Hey guys, Pat here from JetCast. I wanted to quickly make a video about uh, a post that I threw up on JetCast Pod where I graded each day of the draft. Uh, my criteria for grading were need, player, and kind of how the draft fell. Some of the picks I was a little disappointed in, uh, some of them I've warmed up to. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first pick is Will McDonald, 15th overall. I graded the pick as a B minus, and and here's why. Um, I think that the edge uh, room is already a little uh, crowded, um, but you know, thinking over it and, and giving some time, you know, his tape is is really good. It, he's a really uh, a standout player. Um, Last year at Iowa, he was on a four technique, which means he lines up right over the tackle. And at his weight of 239, you know, it, he's not going to be able to get a lot of pressures um, in a four technique. He's better off in a wide, in a, in a wide nine. And that's where Sala said he's going to put him. Um, with the rotation that we have, uh, he should be able to get uh, a good amount of pressures. He's going to thrive as a speed rusher on these passing downs. Um, to be quite honest, I was wanting JSN at that pick. Um, but like I said, look, looking back on it, I think uh, going defense and getting um, uh, Will McDonald uh, was the right route. I know they were trying to pit, trying to uh, trade down. didn't happen. Um, so at the end of the day, we end up with a, a, a quick fast uh, edge rusher who um, you know is, is gonna hopefully wreak havoc um, on the opposing team's uh, tackles next pick day two um, I for Tipman I gave that pick an A um, he is by far I think the best center on the board he's better than JMS um, he, who, who slid by the way, um, uh, I know that Sala and, um, Joe Douglas were trying to trade back up into the first round to get Tipman. Um, luckily they didn't have to do it. He is super athletic. Um, he's extremely tall. He's six, eight and somewhere around 330, 320 pounds, which, um, to just, Give you guys an idea that's two inches taller than Nick Mangold and 20 pounds heavier. He is a really good athletic pulling center, and I cannot wait to see him opening holes for Brees Hall. Um, he should be our center for the next decade, hopefully, as long as he stays healthy, and I'm really excited about the pick. Um, now, I believe Branch, the safety, was there, so you know you could have gone that route. Uh, we do have a need at safety, um, but you know, Titman is a great pick, and he's going to do do wonders, I think, uh, for the offensive line. Day three overall, I gave a B. Um, a lot of depth pieces taken. Um, the tackle Warren from Pitt, very good player, was injured last year, only played four games. He's going to be, like I said, a good depth piece. Um, he could see playing time because, you know, every year it seems like the injury bug hits us. Um, but uh, I think he is a, a good a, a good backup to Mitchell um, if he goes down. And even possibly Becton if, if Becton goes down. Uh, we needed depth there because, you know, just bringing up Becton, he looks great and he's working out and he's losing his weight. But... We can't, um, we can't really rely on him, um, yeah, this year. Um, so we can, we needed somebody, uh, a young, a young player in there that that could we could throw in if needed. Um, the running back, uh, Izzy, is extremely fast. Um, I think it was a four, four two forty, which is 
um, easily the, the quickest player um, on the team now. Uh, he scored very high on that IQ score, and um, I'm really excited to see what he could do. He's going to be entering a room that already has Brees Hall, Michael Carter, and Bam, uh, Bam Knight. Uh, they let Ty Johnson go. Um, with Brees Hall possibly not being able to play right away, uh, this could this kid could could see some snaps, could see some some carries, and and I'm excited to see what he can do. Uh, like I said, very fast, very fast player, um, good eyes, and, um, you know, uh, again, a, a good depth piece. Um, the linebacker, Barnes, uh, we needed a linebacker. We needed another body in there um, to give Quincy and um, give Quincy and Mosley a rest when needed or if they go down. So, again, another depth piece, uh, 4 5 40, um, 88th percentile. Um, and his run defense was uh, 88.9, I believe, on PFF, which, which is fantastic. Um, he's really good at seeing those holes open up and uh, uh, putting, putting his, his, his head where it needs to be, getting his body into those holes and filling those gaps. And finally, uh, Kuntz is, um, again, huge, huge tight end. He's 6'7". Um, I, I feel like this draft, we picked a lot of tall guys, a lot of big bodies. Um, I do not understand how he he fell. Um, his he, he performed extremely well at the combine. He ranked above the 90th percentile in the 40-yard dash, vertical jump, broad jump, uh, three cone drills. He, his combination of size, strength, and um, agility could bring a great deal of potential to that tight end room. Uh, I know we had Ruckert last year. Uh, he is a great blocking tight end, uh, but this kid is so tall. Uh, he's almost like a, a, a receiver out there, a wide receiver. You can you can really kind of put him anywhere on the field. He's got great hands. Um and, you know, we'll see what he can do. Um, so the draft overall I graded as a B. I did not expect it to be as uh, as good as last year's. I don't think anybody went into this year's draft thinking that we were going to come away with, <laughs> with um, you know, two first rounders, three first rounders, and and blue chip players. Uh, we didn't. We weren't as high up in the draft this year. We didn't have as many picks. We actually did a lot of trading down to acquire more picks um, in order to get these players. But overall, um, you know, a B. I think. Uh, I think Will McDonald is going to be a starter in the rotation immediately. I think Tipman is going to beat out McGovern immediately and play. And Warren is gonna, you know, he like I said, he's a depth piece. So overall, I'm happy with the draft. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. We really appreciate the support. Thanks, guys.